I mean, think about it. Think about it. That's, I mean, that's kind of cool. That's what I love about comedy. I can tell you about my culture, and you can relate to it, or you can't relate to it. It's fine. But at least you get to hear about my, my life, my story. You get to see her. Oh, God damn. You ever notice that Filipinos, we love black people. We love black culture. You don't have to explain anything to us. We just get it. It's almost like we're the same. Food, have you seen our food? It's like soul food. We got so much soul, they sing, it's crazy. I think it's that Spanish that's in us. The Spanish that's in us, that's why. And you know when there's Mexicans. You know when there's Mexicans. Out of all the Latinos, Mexicans are very, they're proud people, but. But they identify with Filipinos so much because of that Spanish blood that we have. And that's why they come to my shows, because they identify. They're like, what the fuck? They're just like us. <laughs> and they're in here. That's when you know there's Mexicans in there. Once I say Mexicans. They start whistling. And that's when you know there's Mexicans in here. Because no one whistles better the Mexicans. Close your eyes, it's like you're in a bird sanctuary. So beautiful. No one whistles like that. Each one distinct. Their kids know that whistle. They can lose their kids in the wall and just whistle. <laughs> Papa? Papa? <laughs> Papa? 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 <laughs> Papa? I just want you to know, Mexicans, this is how similar we are. When the Spanish left the Philippines, you left everything there. That's why we're the same. You know what I mean? That's why we act the same. They left everything there. Their culture is just like our culture. They do everything. You guys work hard, we work hard. Fiesta, fiesta. <laughs> Mariachi, karaoke. Same shit. No one really wants to hear it. But even our words are the same. Because when you left, you left your fucking words there. And we took them. You left them there, so we fucking took them. But we changed it. We turned your curse words into desserts. So know that. I want every Mexican to know that. If you have a Filipino coworker, just know we took your curse words and turned them into desserts. So don't get mad if that little tiny Filipino lady comes to the... <laughs> comes to work one day and walks into the break room with a tray of desserts and walks up to you and goes, put this in your mouth, puto. <laughs> Don't get mad. What the fuck did you call me? Because I get it. In your language, puto means bitch. But in our language, it's a delicious dessert with coconut on it. And she just wants you to put it in your mouth. Puto.
clothes out front. <laughs> it's the craziest merch booth. CPAP machines and tabos. It's basically all the cups and empty water bottles you're not using. We're gonna clean them out and I'm gonna sign them. Some of you are gonna drive home tonight. You're gonna look at your wife and like, maybe we should get a, a tabo. For <laughs> It's dirty, and that's not what I'm saying, but like sometimes women, when you go to the bathroom, especially tonight, like it's date night for some of you, and on date night, you run to the bathroom real quick, and you don't want to miss the show, so you run back as fast as you can, but you're peeing, so you hurry up. And here's the thing about women, when you, when you pee and you wipe, I always thought the, the vagina was delicate and fragile, but women, women don't give a, a, a they don't give a fuck about, it's like fuck, like, like they wipe it like they're oiling a catcher's bit. Like, like, try already, pussy, let's go. And then you run back to your seat. <laughs> Did I miss anything? <laughs> no, no, you didn't miss anything. Okay, good. <laughs> and then the rest of the night goes great. And then you go home, things go well, but you forgot what you did, how aggressive you were. And a lot of you leave uh, little tiny treats down there. <laughs> what? You do, don't act like, you know what I'm talking Little tiny, little tiny toilet paper nuggets. Little tiny fun treats. Clitty litter. And it's there, you forgot. And now he goes down on you and he goes like this. <laughs> and you're like, what is it? And he goes, nothing because we never say anything. We never say anything. That's how much we love you. That's how much your man loves you. We're gonna eat that fucking toilet paper. We don't give a shit. Eat that shit. Eat it. It took us two weeks to go down on you. You think we're gonna fuck it up on a little tiny spit wad? Eat that shit. Some of, some of them are big and we chew it like, uh, uh. Spit it out like, uh, all of us. Don't, every guy in here knows what I'm talking about. You eat it, you eat it. Dylan, Dylan eat a whole goddamn roll of toilet paper. Squeeze the fucking Charmin right here. <laughs> I'm not saying it's grub, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not calling you out on it, it's, it's okay. We eat it, it's there, fuck it. Not like you guys, what do you do to us? They make us feel creepy. You guys make us feel so creepy. One little piece of lint. One little piece of lint at the tip. Now the blowjob's done. <laughs> you fucking... <laughs>